A lot of expert makeup work goes into Guardians of the Galaxy. Out of all the characters, nobody's look is more difficult to achieve than that of Nebula, daughter of Thanos and villain turned Avenger. You may recognize actress Karen Gillan, but she definitely looks a little different in the MCU. In order to design Nebula's prosthetics, Guardians of the Galaxy's makeup team began with a full-size sculpted bust of Gillan's head, which was used to properly fit the prosthetics they'd soon be applying to the actress herself. Makeup effects artist David White called the design the most complex and interesting of any of the Guardians, and likened it to putting together a 3D puzzle. Speaking with Business Insider, White said, The five-piece prosthetic was a puzzle of butt joints and blend-offs, all on the same pieces, and the density of the prosthetic changes to accommodate the need to control the amount of prosthetic movement from one piece to another. In other words, the areas of her face where Gillen's expressiveness would have to shine through needed thinner prosthetic pieces than areas for which this wasn't a consideration. The makeup team applied the carefully designed prosthetics to Gillen's head each and every day, after first putting on a latex bald cap, which, especially in the case of the first Guardians movie, was really kind of a formality. Guardians of the Galaxy's version of the Nebula makeup required Gillen to shave her entire head, which she understood would be necessary before accepting the gig. Speaking with Screen Rant shortly before the film's release, Gillen said, I was told even before I auditioned that the actress who got this would have to shave her head, and I didn't think I was going to get it. So I was like, absolutely, I will shave my head, sure. Then, like three screen tests later, I thought, oh god, this might actually happen. Gillen famously demonstrated her dedication at San Diego Comic-Con in 2013, when the Guardians cast was introduced. She arrived at the event sporting shoulder-length locks, but when an audience member pointed out that Nebula was supposed to be bald, Gillen removed what turned out to be a wig, revealing her completely smooth dome and drawing a raucous response from the crowd. At the time, she called the look liberating, but admitted later that being bald did take some getting used to. I found the whole thing hilarious at the time. I was like, ha ha, I'm bald. And then I woke up in the morning and I was like, oh god, oh god. By the time she reprised her role in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, her makeup's design had undergone a slight modification. Speaking to The Wrap before the flick's release, Gillen said, I shaved half of my head this time, but they took away the butt, like the underneath half of my hair, and then left the top part. That was the best gift ever. For the first Guardians film, Gillen's stint in the makeup chair each morning was nothing short of grueling. Being Nebula's first appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the flick was introducing a character who had a very specific look in the comics, one which the makeup team took extra time to ensure came off looking perfect on screen. It takes about five hours to get ready in the mornings, um, and it's all just kind of prosthetics all over my face and then an intense amount of paint. The process involved delicately putting that five-piece puzzle together on Gillen's face, carefully matching the prosthetic's blue shade with makeup wherever her skin was exposed. Of course, every piece would have to be a perfect fit, including the cybernetic implant on the left side of her head. Once the day's shooting was complete, it was another 30 minutes in the makeup chair for everything to be removed, during which Gillen would often serenade her makeup artists. And the next morning, she'd have to endure the process all over again. By the time Guardians 2 was ramping up production, the makeup team had gotten their process down to the point where they could essentially cut the amount of time in half, requiring her to sit for only two and a half hours every morning. Once all of the prosthetics are in place, there are several minor touches needed to finish off the look. The parts of her face not covered in latex need to be touched up with blue makeup, which is carefully applied with special swabs. To achieve a delicate shading in these areas, more makeup is layered on with an airbrush. Finally, some fine detail is provided all around using fine brushes and stencils, which are used to give a textured look. A final once-over with the airbrush, some black shading around the eyes, and a set of false eyelashes finishes off Gillen's head and neck. When Gillen's face and head are being worked on, additional artists tend to her hands, which are also painted completely blue. The same texturing stencil is applied to the backs of her hands, and once this is complete, there's the little matter of nebulous cybernetic arms to consider. As Gillen is made up in blue all the way down past her shoulders, she's fitted with a pair of prosthetic sleeves, the right one featuring Nebula's lovely blue skin tone and seams around the shoulder, and the left made to look completely metallic. The right arm also receives the stencil treatment and fine detailing. Gillen is then given a final once-over by the team, and then there's one last piece to the puzzle. As with the rest of Nebula's look, her jet black eyes are also achieved through practical means. According to makeup artist David White, Gillen was fitted with 22mm black contact lenses, which cover her entire eye to finish off her daily makeup ordeal. Of course, all the makeup on Earth wouldn't make a difference if Gillen weren't capable of nailing Nebula's physicality, and like most Marvel actors, she undergoes a training regimen which requires an insane amount of dedication. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> In addition to healthy doses of cardio exercises like cycling and running, she took part in martial arts training, and lots of it.
Speaking to the crowd at St. Louis Comic Con in 2017, Gillen said, I had to do fight training every day that I wasn't shooting. They told me that you have to do something 6,000 times before it's second nature. I didn't manage to do the routine 6,000 times, but we certainly tried. Weightlifting is also a critical part of her routine when preparing to step into Nebula's shoes. The actress told Pop Sugar, I had to transform myself because prior to playing the role, I didn't do any strength training. Her routine before and during a shoot consists of three days per week of heavy weight training, interspersed with two days of dedicated fighting and mixed martial arts. It takes a lot of time and expert makeup work to transform a pleasant Scottish actress into a menacing alien warrior, but it's hard to deny that the results are anything short of astounding. Gillen as Nebula is virtually unrecognizable, and according to the actress, that's largely due to the extensive makeup process. Without it, Gillen says she has a hard time even reading her lines. In one interview, Gillen said, Essentially, I have the character's skin glued to my face, which is really as close as I could possibly get to her. It's pretty cool. And it's kind of intense and slightly claustrophobic. It's definitely become like part of my ritual in terms of like getting into character. One time I did a rehearsal without the makeup and I did not feel like her at all. It's become a vital part of the process for me. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.